Good morning, everybody. Uh, today I will be talking about a case study from uh, one of our last projects in Turkey. And this related to advanced process control. So our agenda is we will be talking about the basics of advanced, pro advanced process control. We'll be talking about expert optimizer um, version 8. The case study for water and tin cementos at the Hazanoglan plant. Some testimonials, conclusions, and are open for questions. So what is advanced process control? For those that uh, don't know, so the basic concept is to eliminate or minimize the influence of uh, the operators. So we would go from the manual operation, where we all know that we have a normal fluctuation of the process. And uh, our main goal is to eliminate or minimize the manual fluctuation in the process. So first of all, we stabilize the process because you cannot optimize something that is not stable. So first of all, you have to make the process as stable as possible. Afterwards, we can optimize. So as soon as we have the process stable, we can push the system, we can push the process to work towards the limit, towards the bottleneck. We also all know that uh, normally the operators works in this area here with this fluctuation because he does not want to work with the system close to the instability. It's more difficult to operate the cement kiln if it's more like, uh, say, on the colder side than on the hot side. So this is why the operators, they, they tend to work on the, let's say, in a hot kiln, then towards to the optimum. And this optimization here, one of the, the parameters we use to do this kind of optimization is the quality information. So we need the quality feedback to optimize the process. Does not make any sense to increase production if quality is not good. So what are the benefits from um, stabilizing the process? So we will, we will have the small but frequent changes. So we will be doing small changes all the time instead of uh, the operator that does uh, big changes not very often. We will do the, we will reduce this deviation from the, um, from the target. So we will have the process targets and we will be working close to those targets, keeping the process stable. We will have the same operation, the same way to operate the kiln or the mills 24-7. Um, so there is no variation because we also all know that each operator has their own style. One is more, say, aggressive or the other one is a bit slower. This is human being. We will have this, let's say, we will have a standard operation. If we have more stable operation that also um, will increase our reliability. So the um, maintenance should be decreased. Less blockages, um, increasing the liner's lifetime, uh, bricks lifetime, so that leads in a so better, um, so OEEs. We will also, oh sorry, we will also be um, respecting the, the process constraints. So we will program this, we will define the limits. This, those limits are configurable. The operators or process engineers could easily change those constraints and uh, that will be respected by the, the program and that cannot be violated. There is no discussion, limit is a limit, it will follow that. 
Um, with the